second Godzilla Unleashed video again on Wii. So today we're going to be doing another brawl. It, this is essentially the second part to my original. We're again doing the classic melee. This time I'm, I'm going to be again again. But we're going to have different monsters. We're going to be fighting King Caesar, Mechagodzilla 2, and Biomonte. We're going to be in a sock. Also, for people who don't know this, I found a trick on Kiryu, but I'm not using him. If, if you charge all of his HUD, I mean not his HUD, his power cells, and you, you hold down A, B, C, Z at the same time, you, you can use the absolute zero. Okay, let's get fighting. Also, the last time when I, when I said I turned red in the last video, that was actually called Critical Mass. I just didn't know it yet. I'll keep a trick with you, Monte. But someone has to knock her down first. Ouch. Diagon! Rise! Oh, by the way. Psych! I'm back here now, boy. Oh, I was supposed to work. So I and I'm just gonna pick up a building and ran and randomly keep throwing them at you. Eat this. Nope. Nope. This Mickey Godzilla 2 has stopped stopped using his eye lasers. It's annoying. I'll be alone because you've done that instead. Can at least. Ouch. What I don't like about Violante is how he she takes up so much space and she has to be the fattest monster. She's the biggest monster in all of Koho. And it's weird. But the idea was supposed to be a, when they had the contest, if they had a contest of new Godzilla monsters, and they picked Violante. The idea is pretty good, but. The look? I'm sorry, no, no offense, it just doesn't look good. Like, it's supposed to be a monster with, Gun with Godzilla, uh, moth, uh, Rose, and human DNA. It's, it's just really, you know, weird. Like, the, the, the end product just looks weird. It resembles nothing human. Maybe I think the idea could have just been just to use plant and wants to be made, but then I don't think it'll look like this. I prefer the first one where it was a flower, but then the only thing that forms in this game is Mothra. Unless they had a Shin Godzilla, but then again, that's not in this game, because Shin Godzilla came out around um, a few years before, like a few years later, because Shin Godzilla 2016, this game came out in 2007. So Shin Godzilla had, had or not even the legendary cinematic universe even exist yet. Oh, I did not want to do that guy again. Why'd you make me do that? I'm just trying to get the pure crystal. Yay. Charge! Like... Eat that. That was a trick. Like, you knock him, you knock him down, but the minute she nearly touches the ground, you hit her, and you get points in. Always use your punch attack with guy again, because it's the most strong. It's the strongest. I like the kicks. They aren't that strong. See? Fall. So I don't like a bucket spit. Bruh. Mecha G, I'm gonna get you back for that. You rip you, you noob. Take that! Yay! That's what you get. Eat it. Eat this too. In Watch Mojo, they actually said that this was the, 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 the fifth worst game. And like seriously, this is good, man. And they even said that the that Godzilla the game for PlayStation 3 and 4 was bad. And they said this pixelated version of the uh, Godzilla game for the like, Game Boy was good. Like, well, the first verse was Godzilla only double snack. And, when they, the original I thought it actually looked good, but that was just anime that I saw it at the store. And the thing on the back made it look cool. But then when I saw Watch Mojo's version of it, it did not look anything like this. It was pixelated and it was weird. And by the way, this is my second one. Psych! Haha, uh -huh, I'm getting out. You wanna get me out of all of you, okay? Huh? 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 Come at me! That! Oh, come at me. Oh, see, you have to learn, I'm not gonna learn. Oh. Smash. Nuclear reactors are no soccer. Dead. 
And, well, Peony was the easiest to kill in this. I've been practicing. If you want it, would be easy to kill. Grab me. Nope. Behind you now, huh? Now I'm behind you again. Wow, I really love this. I, I call that the sick mover, but it, you can only use Gigan for because he's the only monster that can teleport. And it also said in the, in the uh, booklet that some monsters can double jump. I, I never understood that. Like, what do you mean double jump? Like they can jump twice in the air? And this is my trademark for ending. Okay, so as a bonus, I'm also going to show you the endings of each faction in story mode. Like I completed four different monsters. Out this. Okay, first we're gonna start off with how I ended with Guzzle. This is how it ends. We received reports that it was one of Earth's monsters that brought down. It's the same with Mogira, but then it, it shows a different Our tribute to the different right Mogira and Step Godzilla. Okay, I'm not spoiling it for you. I'm sorry you said that. I shouldn't have spoiled it. Sorry. We as a species owe them our continued existence. Humanity and all life on this planet are safe once again from the alien. Godzilla was there to save us all. This is a tribute. Some of us were wise enough to always believe. Okay, we have three more. The third one is pretty quick. Okay, so next we have Mogera. I like Mogera because it because he was the first it was the first monster I bought in the store, and I liked him because of all the, the arsenal of weaponry that he had, and also he was really strong. He didn't have any kick power, but he was pretty good. His arms were, like his hands, were really, really effective. Humanity and all life on this planet are safe once again from the alien. Was there to He's actually Mogera without the U. But they call him that, I guess, in this. Okay, this one is very short because the alien one is a bit creepy. Like, especially if you're alone in the room and you play this, it's pretty creepy. It's really creepy. <laughs> without laughter, it's just, it's just creepy. It's really, it's really creepy. Last one. It's. Which one did I do? It's Space Godzilla. This is, you know, the end of the story faction. You have to fight Space Godzilla. I wonder what it's like to be Space Godzilla. But actually, at the end, uh, you have to fight every monster that comes at you. Because when you fight in, as other factions, Space Godzilla supposedly has an army. But in this, you're by yourself. I don't, I don't get it. And plus, when you're Space Godzilla, you fight in San Francisco instead of every other faction which fights in New York. So I, I, I don't understand that, honestly. Godzilla has, has won. won. All, All hope is lost. lost. That just sounds weird. Anyway, so thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, and like, and subscribe, and ring that bell button for notifications. This and then that's a P Dan, Scott Kale Gamer, and you can friend my Zombies Royale account. It's P Dan. The code ID is three three five nine. Now have a great time, and I hope you enjoyed it.